Welcome to the presentation of our research wall oxetic installation. Oxetic structures create a new field of possibilities for material transformations, especially at a time when the construction industry needs to comply with the requirements for environmental friendly technologies. New design concepts are of great value. The field of oxetic structures offers opportunities to create new spatial solutions. The attempt of the research is to create the transition from a structure that has been researched in theory to a construction that can be built and used in practice. Oxetic structures are based on a geometric pattern that expands when force is applied. The material does not get deformed, only the bounding box is scaled. Generally, materials have positive portion ratio, that is stretching is expected to make a material thinner and compressing results in bulge. Oxetic materials exhibit the very unusual property of becoming wider when stretched and narrower when compressed. That is, they possess negative portion ratio. Translated to the practical application, this means that flat individual parts can be put together to form a large structure, which then expands while adding force. This effect enables the transition from a flat orthogonal shape to a three-dimensional shape of any design. In contrast to previous research, we put the focus on two shell constructions, which on the one hand enables the shape to be steered in a desired direction without having to apply great forces, and on the other hand offers the possibility of using the space between the two shells. The concept of creating any three-dimensional shape from its planary orthogonal construction can be cited as an essential design idea. With the appropriate parameters, such as height, expansion coefficient, joint spacing of the parts and the choice of the oxetic pattern itself, a wide variety of shapes can be created. Adding a momentary force creates the opening effect. An essential ambition is to create a structure that can be set in motion using simple mechanical technologies and thus takes on a new shape. In order to represent this construction principle in form of a pavilion, we decided to create a wall that opens up to a roof structure. The effect is achieved interactively. The approach to project development is based on in-depth research into oxetic structures and their previous areas of application. Subsequently, the behavior of the structure was checked in detail using an initial working model. The following pictures, first layer, second layer, closed position and open position show the model making and design process of the structure. The choice of material can be described as the first important result of the model tests. At the beginning, a material study was tested with models of smaller scale. It turned out that especially the triangles of the oxetic structure pattern are subject to high requirements. The material should not be too rigid, as it must temporarily absorb large comprehensive forces during the untwisting movement, and further must be deformable in order to guarantee an opening. At the same time, however, it should not be too soft as not to endanger the stability of the structure. We've come to the result of using textiles at this point. These have a positive effect on closing behavior of the construction and prevent superimposition of the triangles and wooden parts. However, in order not to neglect the stability factor, additional parts must be added. For this purpose, we focus on gas pressure springs, which also force the structure into its open position. The Y-shaped flat parts of the oxetic structure are made of plywood. The Y parts of the first shell are centered in front of the smaller Y parts of the second shell, in order to ensure an opening in a certain direction. The two layers have different pattern. This joining of two not identical oxetics to a coherent construction can be named as an essential innovation to previous research in this area. The construction is deformed in a certain direction simply through the parameters of the respective shell more precisely the dimensions of the individual parts and the pressure pulse of the first row of gas springs. The plywood parts of both shells are connected with bulks made of the same material. This happens via a simple wood connection without glue or additional fixing with screws or the like. A cable pull is used to bring the oxetic structure into its closed position. The ropes are routed through the structure and have connection points to the stable Y parts of the bulks at certain intervals. In summary, oxetic structures offer new possibilities for form finding. 
The system of creating three-dimensional shapes from flat paints saves space and is therefore a lucrative solution for transport. Whether the operation, the opening and closing of the structure, is done manually, electrically or pneumatically depends entirely on the area of application and their desired effect. Oxetic structures and their diverse optical and functional designs can provide new technological solutions to the problem of increasingly limited space in urban areas and the demand for alternative construction methods to concrete and steel. We want to thank our sponsors and supporters Raphael Ruch, Roholz Steiermark, Roko, Graz University of Technology and the Faculty of Architecture. In the following clips, we want to show you the final pavilion in open and closed position. <laughs>